Today, I'm going to break down the next two months of training leading into Olympic trials. How many workouts am I doing? What are those workouts? How much swimming volume do I actually do? What is the taper plan? How do we scale down leading into the biggest competition of every four years? Buckle up, let's go. Good morning, everyone. I haven't had caffeine in eight days and I just had my espresso. I'm ready to go. It is absolutely insane just how close we are to US Olympic trials. In just eight weeks, we will be racing at the Lucas Oil Stadium, just up the road for me in Indianapolis. Which means we really only have about four weeks left of work and then we basically start taper. Today is a Thursday. We are doing 200 long course pace. Yesterday was, good morning, Ted. Morning. Yesterday was an aerobic day plus a really heavy lift. I did a clean complex from the ground, five sets of three, building up in weight, paired with jumps. It's one of my favorite things is doing power cleans. I feel really explosive. I feel like it translates a lot to sprinting in the pool. In this video, you're gonna see a little bit of the Thursday, the Friday, and the Saturday practice. And later on, I'm gonna break everything down, which is gonna be for you nerds out there. You've been asking for this. Just got the workout. We are doing a total of 20 50s of blue, basically 200 piss off. This is gonna be a good one. Here we go. Yeah. All right. We're on the last two 50s right there. Just go out in the first 50 and try to hang on. Who picked this playlist? This is garbage. 32 0. Oh. 30.2, all right. Hey, really good effort there, man. Morale is low. People are hurting. Operation break a minute. If you put it on camera, it has to happen. Otherwise, it'd be embarrassed. Otherwise, we would be embarrassed. Yeah, if Cody beats Blake, he starts the whole set. That's right, do it again. Strength and honor. Sending it. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <sighs> I know, I know what you're thinking, Cody. 59 in the long course hunter free. That's not that fast. Katie Ledecky does it in her sleep. Well, you're not wrong, but after all that breaststroke pace, I was dead, dead, dead. The good news for this morning practice, I have got new goggles. A pack has showed up at my door last night. Two tier boxes just showed up at my door. Let's see what we got. New Shockwave, new Venzo. The High Waist USA Shockwave Racing Suit. Venzo USA Racing Suit. My favorite is this High Waist Venzo Influx light blue to dark blue print. And the pair I wear, the Stealth X goggles. This little gremlin is getting ketchup everywhere, which is fun. Which is fun. I am going to bust these goggles out tomorrow morning. One of the great joys of swimming. Oh, oh, oh. I'll just go ahead and flash the whole workout up for you right there. That's the entire Friday morning because I do long course breaststroke pace Thursday morning and Saturday morning. On Friday, I don't do a single stroke of breaststroke. Not one. <laughs> It was close. Look at that video. It was close. We're gonna have to watch the replay. I did get off. I did get off the block before you. Yeah, you did. I think that was me, guys. What? What? You weren't even doing butterfly. Cheater. My favorite part of Friday morning training: the additional cardio after, after our swim. Two to three times a week, I do contrast therapy, which means cooking myself in here and then jumping into the cold plunges right there. On Fridays, like today, I do three 20 minute sessions in the sauna, 20 minutes in here, three minutes of the cold tub, back and forth. I jokingly call it additional cardio because sitting in extreme temperatures like this, over 200 degrees for extended periods of time, your blood pressure raises, your heart rate elevates. It is torture, but I enjoy it. I told you all I would share this with you, so for the nerd, for comparison to what I'm gonna explain later in the video, here is how much I used to swim over the course of my career, the last 
12 years. College years, I was 10 swims a week, about 60,000 yards total. And then as you can see, the first eight months of last year, 2023, I only did 15,000 total per week, four to five swims. That was, that was an interesting time. I'm ready to go. We're going six broken 100 efforts, 35 meters off the block fast. It's basically a 50 on a minute and then a push 50 back and all out. And I'll have my beeper and my cap to hit my stroke rate across full planks. Go. Killing it today. That's right. Flying. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Woo. That was good. Let's go. My training cycle for the next two months. Monday is a double. Monday AM is aerobic with a few sprints, some technical work, no brushstroke training. Monday afternoon is brushstroke practice. That's 6,000 yards, kick capacity, pull capacity, and short horse race pace training. Tuesday is red. That's threshold. That's distance training. Seven to 8,000 long course meters. Mostly of pain. <laughs> Wednesday rotates. Sometimes it's race pace, sometimes it's recovery. Sometimes I even do a little IM swimming, more on the aerobic side. And now we get into the workouts that you saw at the beginning of this video. Thursday morning is long course 200 pace. Friday is a mixed bag of things, no breaststroke. And then Saturday is long course suited race pace training. Sprinting long course with a suit on, so fun. I have found at my age, at this point in my career, the 40,000 yard mark weekly total is where I thrive. That's where I'm getting tired, but not too tired and swimming fast across the board. The most important thing is quality over the next two months. Now for taper, we drop between 15 and 20% of the volume per week week. So 35K, then 30K, then 25K and hang out right around there. As far as the intensity goes, we decrease in percentage of intensity over a four week period. So first we decrease by 25% and then 50%. The perfect example is a Monday afternoon VO2 max best average set. 30, 50 is four weeks out. Then here, here, here. That's if you remember about a month ago, I did a photo shoot with Tier in Chicago and we had to blur out a lot of that stuff from that video. Cody, take your pants off. Halfway through, I felt sweat drip into my ear. Do we push on? And zoom in yeah. and a zoom out. It's getting really hot. I'm testing my vlogging skills. Most of that stuff is available now on the Tier website, the Olympic kit the awesome stuff they're outfitting the US Olympians this summer. They can make an ugly guy like me look that cool. That's, that's pretty sweet. For swim clinics and events, I am booking those now for later into the year. Send me an email to CodyMillerShow at gmail.com and maybe I'll see you sometime later this year. If you'd like a personalized video from me to you or someone you know for whatever reason, it is long course season, got a lot of big competitions coming up. I'm available on Cameo. Until my next video, I will see you all later.